Hey guys, it's Jess again. Today I'm going to share with you my empties. So these are all products that I finished and frankly I'm having to do these more often which is awesome because I love watching these videos because it tells you what have YouTubers used and how do they really feel like it, feel about it. I'm hungry. I can't even think straight you guys. Anyway, so I'm excited to share my thoughts. Some of these are kind of regrets. Some of them are loves and some of them are kind of mess so we will go through them all let's start with this one this one's not completely empty i'm gonna finish it back up but i grabbed it from my bathroom because i was like it's gonna be done in the next like week so it'd be silly to save it for the next go around when i could just talk about it today and i freaking love it so this is from belief it's their true cream moisturizing balm <sighs> i'd heard other people talk about this and say that if you have dry skin it is the bomb well it freaking is the bomb. It's so good. The first few times I used it, I was like, I don't know. You know, it just feels kind of like a normal, like, cream. You can't really. Um, it, and it has this kind of smell that's, it's a very fresh smell. But it says the moisture lasts up to 26 hours. Dermatologically tested. It has comfrey leaf, Napier's moisture formula. formula. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, so... This stuff, my skin is so moisturized when I use it. I love putting it on at night and then like it's, you know, usually the last step in my skincare regimen. And I'll look in the mirror before heading to bed and I'm like, yeah, my skin is very happy right now. That's literally how I feel every time. So really, really, really great moisturizer. Oof. Would I repurchase? Absolutely. Now I do have in my little like skincare backup drawers the same thing but it's their aqua version so i want to try that as well and i'll have to let you know maybe a comparison of the two um but i was really impressed with totally this is something i bought during the during christmas over christmas uh they had like a sale like a set or something like that <sighs> this one is really good and it's really expensive it's the bumble and bumble pret a powder tray invisible dry shampoo i freaking love it, it smells great it works better than any dry shampoo I've used. I've used some really expensive ones. Like right now I'm using an Oscar Blondie one. That one's expensive. I've used some really cheap ones. The best cheap ones I found are the Batiste ones. But this blows it out of the water. It's a completely different formula is the thing. And so when you spray this in your hair, I'll let it, you know, I'll spray it towards the roots. And I'll let it sit for a while, maybe a minute or two. And then I just use my fingers. No white casts anymore when you do that. I don't feel like I have to brush it through. It smells amazing. My hair is like volumized. And, but it also doesn't like completely dry my hair out. It's the weirdest thing. So I'm, I'm going to end up repurchasing this. I know. I know I am. And it's expensive and I wish it wasn't. But I know that I'm going to because it's the best one I've ever tried. This is a hair product I'm done with. And you can see that there's a lot left. I'm passing this on to my sister. I already told her about it. This is the Way Hair Care Wave Spray. I just, my hair doesn't mesh well with wave sprays. My hair's naturally wavy. So when I let it air dry, it ends up being wavy on its own. So when I add in something like this, it doesn't, for me, end up holding the waves together any better. It just makes them sticky. And I don't really like the smell of this, which... Oh no, this one, this is the one that smelled okay. It was that other Way one, the... Um... The way memory mist that I can't smell I can't say the smell this actually did smell good very clean but um, it says it's a weightless texture mist for effort effortlessly chic undone hair with rice protein to add hold and memory for that just got out of the ocean look um, didn't do that for me just made it sticky and almost frizzy in a way that if I had put nothing in my hair it would have looked better but that's my hair. I know a lot of people love this. I would bet it'd be nice, especially if you had like a little bit shorter hair, or maybe if your hair wasn't naturally textured at all, it might actually give it the texture you want, but if it already is, I think it's too much. This I love. I've gone through more than one of these. This is the Briogeo Rosarco Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. So I will, when I'm gonna blow dry my hair, which I don't do every day, or every time I shower, that is, um, but when I do, I would squirt this and just kind of run it through all of my hair, really focusing mostly on the bottom portion, but I put it all throughout and I do feel like it's doing a good job. I feel like my hair, you know, freshly after it's cut, I feel like when I'm using this religiously, it looks so much less damaged. It doesn't look as damaged as quickly. Does that make sense? You know, once you get close to needing a haircut, you just know, but I feel like this is helping keep it healthier for longer down there, like at the ends of the roots. And I like that. And Briogeo, I always talk about because they don't put any yucky stuff in their 
formulas and I really appreciate that. This was an interesting one. This is the Nuni, and this brand, I'm trying a lot of their stuff, like right now I'm trying a Nuni like lip oil thing, and it's like not as oily as you'd think. It's, all of their products are like just a little bit different than I envision. But this is their Deep Cleanse Snowflake Jelly Cleansing Oil. This I liked. Do I think I'm gonna go run out and repurchase this? No, because I didn't like this more than my Clinique Take the Day Off cleansing balm. So what it is, it's a thick, almost like, think of it like coconut oil, that kind of texture, kind of a balm. This is a little thinner than that. It's not as hard to make emollient. But anyway, and you just put it on a dry face. It starts to break down your makeup and then you use water to kind of remove it. And then you go in with a regular cleanser. That's my preferred way to take off makeup. I've been doing that for probably a year, year and a half. And I really like it. I feel like it's helped my skin a lot. Well, this removed makeup okay. It didn't do as well on like stubborn eye makeup, which really not all of them do, and I'm okay with that because I don't usually use waterproof makeup anyway, but if I've got like lash glue on, like if I'm wearing fake lashes, oh my gosh, nothing gets that crap off. And that's why I like, I wear fake lashes so rarely, even in filming, I don't wear them very often, like I'm not wearing them today, because I'm like, I, I can't do it. Like it's so much work to get it off, and then I feel like I'm losing my own lashes. I'm like, this is not worth it. Anyway, it was good. I'm not going to buy again because I think there's better stuff out there, but it was, it was nice. Oh, this is a Tyler, my husband, empty. This is from Everyman Jack, and it's their fiber cream. We bought this because it was on clearance at, like, Target or Meyer or somewhere. Um, he couldn't even finish it up. He said, I am done. And I was like, dude, I do not blame you. He really likes the American Crew, like, pomade. Is it the pomade? Or maybe it's their fiber stuff. He loves that because it doesn't have shine, but it really does add hold. He said this stuff would literally, and I would see it in his hair, he would, it's a really, really thick thing, and maybe that's how the other, but he said no matter how much I would rub it between my fingers, I would always have these little white specks all throughout his hair, and he would. I would see it, and I'm like, dude, what's going on? Um, it was just terrible. He was like, I've tried a thousand ways to make this work, and I can't, and Tyler is not someone that gives up on things. Like, he will use a product that he hates all the way to the end, but this one was so bad, he was like, I am done. So he's back to his American Crew fiber stuff, and this stuff is on the way out. Oh, I love this stuff. There's maybe a little bit more I can try to squeeze out. This is the Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains Nighttime Relief. You can find this most places, drugstores. I love this. I've already bought it again. I'm halfway through my next one. It is so good. You know, I'm yes, I'm pregnant. But I liked this even when I wasn't because it really, you put it in a bath and of course it makes bubbles, but it just eases your muscles and you can kind of smell it and it relaxes you. It's so wonderful. I think they have an aches and pains one that's not nighttime as well. I love it. And it says you can use it as a body wash as well. But otherwise it's a bath oil. And speaking of baths, the Dr. Teal's, I go through these like crazy. It's their pure Epsom salt. They have different versions of their Epsom salt. This is their soften and nourish with milk and honey. I like to use the soften and nourish in the winter just because, you know, our skin gets so dry if you live in a climate where you've got the heat on inside. Right now I bought, I'm going through, I think it's like the kind of relax muscle relief kind of a one that I'm using, but I really do like this one too. And again, these are relatively inexpensive compared to um, you know, you can get bath salts that are ridiculously pricey, but these I think are reasonable. And the packaging of this um, is Velcro. It's genius. It's so genius. Anyway, love it. Went through an e.l.f. cleansing cloth. So I've got another one I think I'm almost through. These are just okay. I bought a few when I placed an order online months ago, and I use them for swatches. I don't use them on my face. Not that I think there's anything wrong with doing that. I, again, I just it's not my preferred way of removing makeup. Now, have I used these on my face? Yes, and it was just fine. Like, if I put on a foundation, I'm like, nope, that looks crazy. I'll usually grab one of these to take it off, and it does a great job removing it. Do I think this will be absolutely amazing for, like, eye makeup? No, because there are times where I'll have, like, a liner swatch, and I'm like, and I cannot get that liner even off of my hand. So I can only imagine in that tender eye area. This, I have, like, a teensy bit left in the bottom. This is the Volition turmeric brightening polish this was nice volition's a cool cool brand um, and they sent me a bunch of their stuff a long time ago because what they do is they take ideas from us you know, not from youtube i mean from like anyone and you know if you've got an idea or a recipe and you're like i really think this would be a great product there's a chance that they might take you up on that and so like whoever invented this 
I think there was like a little card in with it that like explained their story or who came up with this idea. But um, it was nice. I Do I think it genuinely brightened my skin? I don't know. It definitely exfoliated, especially like my elbows and things because it has like little tiny granules in it. Um, it says that you're supposed to massage onto wet skin and leave it on for two minutes. By then, usually it was already rinsed off because I'm in the shower. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, But um, I liked it. Would I go out and buy it? I don't think so. I think there are plenty of other... Um, exfoliators for cheaper right now I'm using a coffee one from Shea Moisture that I really like now it makes my shower a mess but I love coffee scrubs all right I have a brand I am done with this is the organics or OGX brand I keep buying their stuff and I keep not liking it I don't know what's going on why do I keep buying it? I've bought so freaking many of their shampoos and conditioners this goes like back to when I used to live in Chicago way before I had a YouTube channel I have tried so many of their products and all of them dry my hair out. All of them. It's hor like to the point where it's very noticeable to me. Even in the shower, I'm like, ah. It and this is their brunette one. I used it for a while. I'm gonna see if a sister maybe wants it. I'm gonna tell them though, like, hey, I'm just letting you know this is terrible, but do you want it? <laughs> Sometimes they're like, yeah, I'll try it. I'm like, okay. It's just bad. All of their pro and I don't know what is going on because OGX, you'd think. Yeah, it says beauty, pure and simple. So you'd think, oh, it's going to have good ingredients. Well, I guess not. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my hair versus this stuff. Now, I've tried some of their hairspray products. Those are usually better. Like, I've tried some of their dry shampoos. Those are better. But their shampoos and conditioners, I'm done with. I'm not trying anymore. Oh, I mentioned this last time, and so many of you guys were like, uh, that stuff is life-changing. It's the Clear Care 3% Hydrogen Peroxide Contact Lens Cleaner. I get makeup on my contact lenses. I, um, I'm i just notorious for, I'm horrible with contact lenses. Well, I'm better about them now because of this stuff. So you put it down in this little like container and the thing is if you put it in your eyes after like an hour or two of it being in there, it will literally burn your eyes. Like it is the worst pain ever if you've ever accidentally done it. You can't put it in a regular contact lens. So there's some scientific magic going on that you can't mess with. And I think it's like after four to six hours you can use it and it's done and then it's fine to put in your eyes. I don't know what in the world, but it cleans my lenses like crazy. I use it every single night. My lenses are lasting just as long as normal. It's not doing anything freaky. They usually sell big double packs at like Costco. So that's usually what Tyler and I get because we both use them and this stuff is amazing. And I have heard that you guys were telling me Walmart makes a knockoff brand. So I'm like, hmm, I bet it's cheaper. All right. Oh, the LA Fresh or La Fresh Travel Light Oil-Free Makeup Remover Wipes. I almost used these up and then the last few dried up on me. Um, I use these when I travel. They're okay. They're just okay. I'm on a pro enamel kick. I have horrible enamel. I like, as a kid, I got cavities. Even as an adult, I get cavities so easily. And my dentist has told me, like, your enamel really is weak. And that's kind of something in my family that I've kind of known. So I'm trying to be better and use better toothpaste for, for it because I loved using like Crest 3D White. Like I feel like it would make my teeth so white. Um, but anyway, I've been using Sensodyne Pro Enamel for, I don't know, maybe a couple months now. And I'm like, well, my teeth are still white. I don't think feel like it's not whitening them. This one was more expensive though. And it's their Strong and Bright Enamel. Um, it was okay. I ended up just going with the, the standard Sensodyne Pro Enamel with like whitening. Because, again, they had it at Costco for like a four-pack. So that's what I'm using, and I, I really like it. My breath still feels smart, fresh, but I at least feel like, okay, you're, you're actually taking care of your teeth, Jess, because having white teeth is not as important as, like, having strong teeth. So I'm like, I've got to, like, prioritize what's important. <laughs> um, bio oil. I've used up, and I'm halfway through my next one. I use on my tummy in addition to other oils, things like that. Um... I mean, so far, so good. This is another Tyler one. It's the Caudalie Vine Active Overnight Detox Oil. This stuff smells like actual butt. <laughs> Why is it funny to hear someone say the word butt? That word alone is funny to me. Anyway, um, it does smell like butt. And Tyler was like, yes, I agree. It smells like butt. Ugh, it's okay. It doesn't actually smell like butt. It just smells really bad. This stuff is, he freaking loved it though. He was like, do you have any more of that? I'm like, no. Oh, there's a little tiny bit. Um, so he would use it at night, pretty much every single night. And even though it smelled horrible, he really, really liked it. And I've heard this is like an award-winning, like amazing product. 
It says apply six drops in the evening, either alone or before your moisturizer. Avoid your eyes. So anyway, I will say the Caudalie products I've tried, I really liked. Like I like a lot of their skincare. So, um, you know, I'm sure it really was good. This was one that, this is from Drunk Elephant. They'd sent me a lot of their products a while ago, and I'm kind of slowly trying them. This is their Lala Retro Whipped Cream. I do think it's moisturizing. Um, it's got this weird, it's good though. I mean, it's hygienic in my opinion, but a push down thing where it comes up through the top. I wondered if it would use it all. It actually completely empties it out. That's awesome. So here's the thing. Drunk Elephant products are really expensive. Now, most of their ingredients are incredible. Really, truly. I just didn't really care. Like, I would much rather use my Belief Moisturizer. I have enjoyed that so much more than this. This is a very almost dry feeling moisturizer, whereas the Belief has almost like a gel-like texture. I can't explain it. This might have been doing great things for my skin, but I didn't like using it. Does that make sense? So, I don't know. I don't. Would I go out and buy it? I don't think, no. I know that I wouldn't because I'd much rather spend my money on the Belief stuff. I'm trying out other Dry Elephant... <laughs> Drunk Elephant stuff that I'm really enjoying and I'm kind of working on a video Some skincare based videos. I'm kind of working on as I gather my thoughts the it cosmetic superhero mascara. I used up This stuff is amazing. It's expensive though. I would say buy the essence uh, Lash princess mascara over this I can link it below if you're curious about like which one because there are a couple it's Literally a fourth of the price and it's exactly the same thing. It does the same thing for my lashes I really like this but um, and I think I even have some in my backup drawer, but the Lash Princess stuff is the same thing, and it's cheaper. Oh my goodness. This is my Sunday Really Good Jeans little trial sample that I bought at Christmas time. This stuff is so expensive. Now, you need to know that I about threw up because Sunday Riley sent me in a good way. I threw up, like, in a good way. They sent me a couple of their products, and part of it was the Good Jeans, and I was like sweating. I literally was like, Tyler, do you remember that one skincare product that when I was using it, I was telling you this stuff is amazing, but it's like a hundred dollars for the full size. And I was like, I don't want to run out of it, but I freaking love it. And I might buy it. I'm just letting you know. And he was like, yeah, vaguely. I'm like, well, they just sent it to me and I'm literally about to barf. This stuff is so good. It's an exfoliator, but it, you know, you, it looks like almost like a moisturizer and you put it on and it does its work overnight. I always use it at night. You can probably use it during the day. But with exfoliators and things, I am always like, because eh, you might want to use this SPF with it too. And so I usually just do it at night. Um, but it says, it's an all-in-one lactic acid treatment. It deeply exfoliates for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin. Visibly brightens dark spots. Instantly plumps the look of fine lines and wrinkles. I don't know about plumping the looks of fine lines and wrinkles. But I do know that my skin, every morning after using this, and I wouldn't use it because I didn't want to run out of it. I'd use it like twice a week. My skin the next morning would look like heaven. Uh, it was, it, this stuff is freaking ridiculous. I love it. Worth the price. I was genuinely going to buy it myself. So when she, they sent it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, then I have this Pai Shao Biphasic Infusion Rejuvenating Concentrate. It's just like a, a hair oil. I liked it. I, I'm not sad that it's done. I was kind of like, eh. I've been mentioning recently that I really am on the hunt for a really good hair oil because I, I don't feel like I found one that I feel that strong. I found some good ones, but I don't feel like I found one that I'm like, oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know down below. But this was good. It wasn't bad. So those were all of my empties for this, I guess, month. If you want to see my last month's empties, I'm saying like month in quotes because I'm like, I don't, it's not really every month, but it kind of is becoming that. I will link it below. And if you enjoyed, I hope you'll subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are notified when I upload new videos. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.